Now then, Mr. Murphy, you might be talking to this guy soon because hey. you, uh, of course, also famous you for your stand-up. Can you, I, I, we might have to blur this yeah, one, you too. You're right. Yeah. That is you. What year, what year is this? What year is this? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. A long time ago. Is, but... People, are, no people have been clamoring for you to go do stand-up again. I understand one of them was Barack Obama. Yeah, Obama. Yeah, when I went to, to I got this uh, uh, Mark Twain prize, and when I saw him in the White House, he, the first thing he asked me was, when are you going to do stand-up again? And I was like, well, <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, maybe it's time to do stand-up again. <laughs> Did you do your Obama? <laughs> Did you do your Obama for Obama? Oh, no. I don't really know if I'd do a good Obama. You know what we talked about? We talked of the, he talked about uh, my, my hair. He was like, how come your hair? How come, what, he said, what kind of rinse are you using? I said, what? He <laughs> said, you don't have any gray hairs. Because I'm like, I said, I'm, I'm about two, three months older than Obama. Yes. And he was like, that doesn't make me feel any better. So it's, it's a great picture I have of me talking to him in the White House, and we're like talking, and it looks like we're having this thing. And he's like, at that moment, he's going, So, what, what kind of wrench do you use? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any wrench. You know, any that's real. That's, that's real. It's not a wrench. That's I not get, a wrench. I get gray hairs in my mustache and in my, in my nose, of all places. But my hair is still wow. black. Yeah. What, what kind of wrench do you use in your nose? <laughs> I don't know. Just just no, Afrin? I just cut it out. I cut um, the hair. You're, you're hosting SNL. Yes, uh, yes. This December. Yes. This December. Christmas show. Yes. Christmas. First time, first time in 35 in years. 35 you have not hosted years, in 35 I've, years. I've not been back in 35 years. Wow. We we have that in common. You haven't been back. I have not hosted in 35 years. Oh. Now. Um, can we expect some of your old characters? Are we going to see Gumby or Buckwheat or... I would imagine, yeah. I'd Mr. Like, Robinson's yeah, Neighborhood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there... Do you miss? Yeah. Do you miss? Do you ever do any of those voices on your own? Do you just oh, no, break I them out? I don't, I don't miss, no, but I'm looking forward to going back and doing that stuff. And yes. Seeing, I, I hope it's funny, though. I hope it... <laughs> no, you want, you want the show to be, to, to be really funny. If you sure. go back and you want it to really be good, so I'm looking forward yeah. to it. That would be another bit of advice to give your 19-year-old self. You want the show to be really funny. No, he wanted stuff to be funny all the time, too. I always, you know, want it to be funny, as funny as it can be. Mm -hmm. But SNL is like, you know, that's such a big part of who I am. You know, I, I want, if I go back, you don't want to go back after 35 years and the show was like, eh, it was all right. <laughs> you know, really was there any other thing that you thought you might do other than comedy? Like, was there a fallback position at any point? Like, or was there, you never looked in any other direction? Because you had, you, had, you had to have some doubts. Well, no, I got started. I started doing stand-up when I was 15, and things happened kind of, came together quick, you know. So Were your folks okay with that? Okay with what? Was your mom okay with you to go into show business? Uh, yeah. When I stopped bringing checks home. <laughs> 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 Who were the people for me it was uh it was uh Carlin and Cosby and Steve Martin. Who were the people that you went, I, I want to be like that? Uh, who I think the all time greats are are Carlin, Cosby, Richard Pryor, and Chaplin. Oh, wow. <laughs> But I, I aspire to be like Richard. I want to be like, I thought Richard was the funniest. Like, I was like, that's who I want to be like. But I had other ones, too, like, that weren't comedians. Like, uh, Muhammad Ali and Bruce Lee. Uh, and uh, who's another one that's really big? Muhammad Ali, Bruce Lee, Richard Pryor. And I'm, I'm forgetting one person. He'll come to me in a second. But is, there any, is there any Ali or Bruce Lee in any of your roles? Like, have you channeled any of that aspiration in some of your work? I, I mean, there's a little Bruce Lee in your, uh, in your karate chop in there, obviously. Now, you know, I do Bruce Lee uh, when I have to pull a gun out in a movie. I, I do, like, I'm doing a Bruce Lee. And the first time I had, the first movie I ever did was uh, 48 Hours. And, uh, 
And I had never had a gun before, never had to look. And so the director was like, you're going through this alley looking for people with the gun. So I just started doing, acting like how Bruce Lee was acting and making these faces. I pull a gun out and I did all this shit. So when I pull a gun out in a movie, I'm imitating, I'm trying to do Bruce Lee faces. So if you said take a gun out, but don't make a Bruce Lee face, I'd be like this, hey. <laughs> So to this day, if I pull out a gun, I'm going on my Bruce Lee <laughs> Is there any role that you've done that you go, I didn't know that was going to be such a huge uh, sort of part of my legacy? Like, that, that, that role would grab everybody. Because I got one in mind, which is Donkey. Oh. Donkey <laughs> is... One of the greatest, one of your greatest performances. Yeah. And we don't get to see you, and yet there's no, the only one person that could be is Eddie Murphy. Yeah, you don't know any of these, any movie, you don't know how big it could be, you know, you find out afterwards. So I don't have anything that I think, oh, I didn't, I have a couple of ones that were really bad where I'd be like, I, I did not know it was going to be that bad. <laughs> 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 They're still talking about it? <laughs> a couple of those. We haven't even talked about this. This is, this is, that's you. We're to, yeah, we're doing that right now. This is almost finished. And you're getting, you're, you're, you're reading this one. <laughs> you're, redo, you're redoing this movie yeah, right now. Who's going to play Arsenio? A, Arsenio's playing himself. Okay, good. And we got all, the, you got all the original characters and those barbers and that old Jewish guy. Yes. And, all the, and, and, and we have the band Sexual Chocolate. I forgot. <laughs> what country are you from? What's the name of the country? A uh, fictional country, Zumunda. Zumunda. How are things in Zumunda these days? Things are wonderful in Zumunda. Zumunda? Yes. No conflict with Wakanda in Zumunda? No conflict with Wakanda. <laughs> None whatsoever. Well, Eddie, lovely to meet you. Thank you so yeah, much for good being to here. Meet you too, man. Please, please come off and. <laughs> Dolomite is my name is in theaters and on Netflix now. Eddie Murphy, everybody. We'll be right back with a late show Halloween classic.